Well, we got gas. We are at our first stop here. And uh, I'm pretty much ready to go. I had to take the rear tire off last night, which wasn't something I was really wanting to do. But, um, yeah, we're yeah, we're ready. And um, uh, the valve stem was loose. The tire was flat, so I had to do a lot of work last night before I left, and I really wasn't ready for that stuff yet. I didn't want to start off a trip like this a thousand miles. So anyways, uh, we're going to get going here. All right, you got to go, Rick? Yeah. All right. He's ready to go, so we're going to head out. And I'll see you guys probably in about 500 miles, maybe sooner. Bye. We just pulled into Weed Rest Area about this point, and we had gotten lost earlier. So we were already a little tired, and it was kind of cold. I, I was a little bit cold on the way, but... Um, other than that, it was pretty good. Um, we made it to Riceville, Oregon. You'll see that in a second. Here's a little rough picture of me already. Things are getting rough, but uh, we're going pretty Back. good. Here we, we just are. got through eating here at Pilot. Uh, this is our turnaround spot. We've gone 541 miles. And uh, we're actually pretty beat up. Here's the Denny's. I had the skillet. Vegetable skillet. Nothing too radical. And... Uh, We're heading out. So, uh, I'm going to try to get some footage. I got my thinner gloves on. I can't operate this phone with my thick gloves. And, uh, I want to get some footage of Shasta when we get across there. And we'll see how, how that goes. It, when we came in, it was, it was dark. It was still nighttime. So, um, we're heading out right now, Riceville, Oregon. Going to be going to Interstate 5 North. I mean, I take that back. We already been north. We're going to go south. And I put my rain jacket on this time because this I've been cold since the minute I left Modesto. And uh, this jacket's going to take some of that wind off of me so I'm not freezing. It's nice up here. They got self-service gasoline. Everybody comes out to help and they don't have the foreskins on the nozzles. You don't have to pull that sucker back. They're circumcised. Okay, well, 541 miles here so far. We're gonna, it's gonna be rough on the way home. We're already tired. Surprisingly, my legs are really feeling the effects of this. I don't know, probably because I'm cramped up in this one position here on this bike. And um, I took my vitamins again on the way home here, so. Just hit the road. We're gonna try to go about 100 miles here on this next, before we do our next stop. We've been pretty much going 90 to 110 miles in between tankfuls of gas, which is quite a long time to stay in the seat, especially on this bucking Bronco. But the bikes run flawless. I get a lot of compliments too from people when I pull in. The dragster gets a, gets a lot of attention, there's no doubt about it. So I'll see you guys up the hill! Bye! We've got a construction detour up here on the mountain. So, we're going slow enough where I can talk for a little bit. We're going to check out the view anyways. It's pretty nice up here. It's cold right now too. I wish I would have had this um, jacket on earlier. I would have been a lot more comfortable. All right. Don't know where we're going, but we're going to find out. I think we're lost. Hey. I don't know if we're supposed to be going this way or not. This sucks. No fucking signs or nothing.
evidently this might be the right way anyways it's nice up here it's a little cold that's okay that's why I waited till this time of year to do this ride because I don't want to be burning up We're still in Oregon. I haven't even hit the California border yet. This is our detour, man. What a detour. This is a good view, but it's killing our time, that's for sure. I'm on a schedule. Slides! That could be me. Wouldn't be the first time. Slide off the road. Rough road. How about that? That's all I need is a rough road, but. Oh. I got my motor skivvies on anyway, so it helps. My butt has been doing pretty good this trip. Gotta take give credit to the shorts. I wouldn't go on a road trip with like this without the motor skivvies not a chance okay I'm pretty tired pretty right tired now right. I'm hanging in there I actually feel better now than I did two hours ago because we ate okay I'm clicking out of here for a while we got problems just in case you're curious I couldn't just leave you hanging there we made the wrong turn and we went down that way we weren't supposed to so we turned around and came back up all through that picturesque beautiful spot but I'd rather be on the highway and um, this is where we're going now we're back on interstate 5 after our delay so I will see you guys later bye how you doing? I'm back again for a minute. Figure what the heck. Hornbrook Agricultural Inspection Station. Do you have any fruit? Well, I could show them a peach, but it wouldn't be appropriate. Oh, Cheech and Chong joke. Ain't that a peach? Okay. Oh. Uh, it was peeking out a minute ago. We're getting closer to Mount Shasta. So I will shut down again for a couple minutes and then um, when we get up to Shasta, I'll flick it on. I'll see it. You know, I come around the corner and there she is staring at me. It's looking bigger the closer we get. That's what she said anyways. So, um, I'll, guess, I'll get a couple of shots of it when we get beside it and then um, probably hang loose for a while before I do as soon as it starts getting dark. See you in a while! Walking down the road! Looking at all the sights. I've been doing this since 1 o'clock this morning. It's, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's later in the afternoon because I can see over to my right the sun's starting to go down. It'll be it'll be dark another another couple of hours or hours so at least. So uh, figured what the heck? Saddle Sore 1000. So far the motorcycle's running great, no issues at all. And I'll check back in a while. Time for a pit stop. Weed Airport Road Rest Area. It's been 106 miles since I've been off of the bike, so my butt's a little bit... It's sore. That's all I can say. I wouldn't say it's sore, but it hurts. Oh, my legs are fucking stiff, too. Whew. All right. Okay, I'm not a mess like you. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. There's Mount Shasta. Huh? Mount Shasta. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Right back where we started. About 20 hours ago, roughly. And see that guy sitting over there on the sidewalk? He just signed me off. Yesterday morning, one o'clock in the morning, he was sitting there drinking and he's still there. So I bought him a beer. And this is it, we did it. I think it was like 20 hours. More than that, I have to add it up and I'll let you guys know later, but uh, we went like 1,080 miles, I believe. I haven't totaled it up yet, but it's somewhere in that range. And we're fucking tired. That last, uh, that last two hours was pretty brutal. I don't know if I'll do this again or not. I probably will. Why not? So hey, I want to thank Steve Costco at Stanislaus Smog for helping me out, and my moto skivvies got me through. Uh, there's no way I would have sat on this seat for that long without the moto skivvies. It's just not going to happen. And also, in Via Gusta for building badass motorcycles and giving me their support and the free products. So anyways, I'm checking out. And uh And uh uh I didn't want to trying to concentrate. Okay. See ya. Having the energy drinks was always good. Um we took started drinking them on the way home. The little ones are nice. They give you a little bit of a boost, and the 5150 was the last one, so it carried us all the way home. I had probably close to 100 pounds of stuff in my bag. Spare fuel jugs. The battery pack's good because I can power my phone with it, and um, the air compressor that I keep with me, a little air compressor, and I can plug tire holes. I got tools with me. Everything to fix a flat tire. And I don't really think we're going to have any problem doing another one of these. Now that we've done one, the second one's probably going to be a little bit easier, although we did not hit any rain. That could have been nasty. Bad weather. We did get lost once. No problem. We probably won't do that again. Next time, we're going to have a GPS. See you next time.